It would be easy to believe that Google search is complete. It's the best search engine on the market and it has 80, 90% market share, but that's not true. In fact, Google's plans for search are just as ambitious as ever. And the company is actually hiring a ton of PMs into the search org. We'll talk about some of these plans in this video, but first let's understand how Google thinks about the search market. It usually divides the market into the first billion users or FBU and the next billion users or NBU. FBU usually refers to the developed countries that picked Google first, and NBU refers to more emerging markets. The search org is working hard on both, but for slightly different reasons. Let's start with FBU. A lot of developed countries fall into this segment, but Google is really focused on five. France, Germany, the UK, the US, and Japan. This quintet is usually known at Google as fudge, F for France, U for the US, D for Germany, since in German the country's name starts with a D, J for Japan, and E for England, representing the UK. There are three big problems facing Google in these fudge countries. The first one is user trust. Many people in developed countries don't trust big tech and will throw allegations of bias at Google for how the search engine ranks certain sites. Google doesn't want people in these wealthy countries to swear off Google products. So of course, regaining user trust is a huge focus area at the Googleplex. Interestingly enough, the Google Doodles product, which may seem silly on the surface, is actually really important for this user trust program. Second is iOS, which of course is really popular in the FBU world. Google can make Google search the default search engine on Android, but they can't do that on iOS, which means that they have to pay Apple billions of dollars a year for default privileges, and are always at risk of, say, Bing taking that default spot. One way to get out of this war of defaults is to make the Google iOS app valuable enough that people will just use that instead of going to Safari to search. So Google is spending a lot of energy making the Google iOS app more than just a search engine. And as a result, that PM team is growing quite quickly. The last thing for FBU is revenue growth. Google calls opportunities for growth headroom, so feel free to use that term. Even though people in fudge countries use Google search a lot, the ads org has determined that there's still revenue headroom. There are ways to show more ads and to get people to click on those ads more. Part of this is moving beyond the plain old blue link ads and instead showing ads in multimedia environments, places with pictures, videos, tables, lists, color, and so on. This, in turn, is why Google is spending a lot of time making rich, interactive search result pages, like those for movie recommendations, sports scores, or recipes. Now, let's talk about some of the opportunities for NBU. A lot of regions fall into NBU, like MENA, or Middle East North Africa, LATAM, or Latin America, or APAC, Asia Pacific. But the most important one for Google and especially for Google search, is India, which is as much of a focus area as the fudge countries. Trust in iOS aren't major problems for Google in India, since most people have Androids and love Google, and it's not like there are other search engines in play. The problem, oddly enough, is that many people just don't use search engines. When they need to know information, many Indians will just text their friends on WhatsApp, or if they need to know how to do something, they'll just go on YouTube or TikTok. The concept of typing words into a blank white box and getting a bunch of blue links out feels pretty foreign to these folks. As a result, Google is trying to make search feel more natural to NBU users by adding a lot of features usually found in mobile apps, videos, scrolling feeds, stories, mini apps, and so on. This is why Google is making Google Go, a version of Google search for NBU that has all those features. Formally speaking, this opportunity is called DAO Headroom, meaning that there are opportunities to get more daily active users in the NBU markets. A key metric here, and one of the most important metrics for search overall, is searchiness. This basically measures the percent of Android users who make at least one Google search throughout the day. Mathematically, it's search DAOs on Android divided by overall Android DAOs. So basically, Google's search in NBU, and sometimes in FBU, can be summed up as increasing searchiness. So there you have it, NBU and FBU. 
two very different but equally important markets for search, and each with its own strategy. Now that you understand this, you'll be able to talk a lot more intelligently about Google products during your interview.